Hi, Peter Charles here of Hooked Life, Fly Fishing. And today we're going to deal with a very mundane uh, subject that um, I've sort of changed my mind about a number of times over the years. And it's about transporting rods, especially rods that you're using a lot. I'm not talking about a, a rod that you might pick up once a year. I'm talking about something you're constantly fishing. And, you know, they're supplied in these wonderful tubes good and solid, protect the rod, everything's wonderful, uh, but, you know, t constantly taking it out of the tube, out of the sock, put it back in the sock, put it back in the tube, let it all dry so you don't want to tighten this thing up while the rod is still wet, you end up with mold inside of this thing. So you've got to let it dry, blah, 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 and then you repeat it again tomorrow, and then the next day, and the next day. It, if you're fishing a lot, these things start to get to be a bit of a pain in the butt. They're good for long-term storage. They're good if you're going to be uh, traveling someplace on an airplane or something like that. They're wonderful. But in a lot of times, the, the tube can be more pain than it's worth. And in the end, what I end up doing is when the rod is being put away for the season or being put away for a while that I'm not going to be using it, it's in the tube for safety reasons. But when it's not uh, being used, in, sorry, stored in the tube, I don't leave it in the tube a lot of the time. If I'm going to be using a rod a lot, I'll do something different. Now, first thing I'm going to show you is these things. These are called fishing butlers. It's a Canadian product. I think they're available in the States too. And you can draw them in and it'll tighten up. You can lock it in place so now you, it won't pull out or you can release it. So you, it comes with a set of two which you can use to um, put on a uh, holder rod together. Now, how that works. is I've got the rod butler holding the butt section and the tip section. I can leave this rod put away like that. So when I go fishing, I just simply grab it and go. I can transport through doors easily. No worry about slamming a door in it. It, it fits in the car just fine. Uh, for safety's sake, I make sure the tip isn't sticking out. You know, if it's sticking out too far, it could get knocked off. But as long as it's buried within the rest of the sections, it's fine. It's a perfectly adequate way of transporting a rod. And I use it a lot. I love these things. And if I'm using a rod like almost on a daily basis, this is how I store it with the fishing butlers. Another thing we can do, this rod is rigged. If you're constantly moving from one fishing spot to another, so you, you get off the water, you put your rod in the car, drive to the next spot, get out again. Well, especially if you drive a small car, that can be a pain. So what I've done here is there's the fly. It's on the tip top. I've wound all the line in and I'm hold, uh, I have not taken it down uh, into four pieces, just two, treating like a two-piece rod. There's the other rod butler at the end holding that end together. So the rod can simply be reassembled when I get to the new fishing hole, pull the uh, pull the fly out and pull it all and, and get fishing. So you can leave it rigged like this in the car uh, in two sections instead of four. And, uh, you know, for example, when I was uh, in, um, when I'm in Cape Cod, I do this a lot. I get in the car and my rod is in this condition. It's actually stored in the house like this. And I just get in the car, throw this in the car, and we, we drive down to the beach and I assemble the rod and go fishing. When I'm done, I put it back in this condition. And I'm fishing like for two weeks solid. So it's no point putting the rod back in the tube, especially when we're dealing with salt water. And I've got to rinse this off very well every time I use it. So, you know, this is a great solution for when you, you know, want to keep fishing and you want to keep your rod rigged. And it's not just fly rods. There's one of my surf rods. Same thing. And uh, this one I have not rigged, it's not rigged, but same thing when I'm in Cape Cod, this is stored rigged. There is a lure on the end of it, usually a bucktail jig, for example, and it will be stored like that, and when I need it, I just pick it up and go fishing. So they're called fishing butlers. As I say, they're a Canadian product, but I, I'm pretty sure they're available in the States as well. Uh, very, very handy. Come, come with two. They're color-coded, so you could, like this is purple. I've got green, I've got orange down there, yellow. Come variety of colors. 
And uh, so you can, you know, actually identify, if you want to go so far as to identify rod by color, you could if you wanted to. Now, the other thing I do when I go to Cape Cod, I don't even bother bringing my tubes with me. I use these things. They're neoprene, uh, stretchy neoprene with some Velcro. And they're called rod glove wraps. And they're, they're as I say, they're stretchy. And what I do is when I go to Cape Cod, I've got a bundle of rods. So I've got this nine foot surf rod with the uh, fishing butler on the end. I've got my, my nine foot nine weight, my eight foot nine weight. They're done the same way. They're broken down in just two sections. And I've got fishing butlers on the end of those too. And then I make a bundle out of the whole lot with this neoprene. So they're in the car, all open, basically, reels mounted, ready to go. And I can just, you know, put them in the car. They're very safe. Nothing happens to them. And, you know, they're very transportable in that fashion. When I get to my, uh, to my friend's house, I just grab a bundle of rods and reels. Everything's all in, all in one. Bang, into the house. Again, you know, you're cutting down on the potential for rod breakage and other things. Uh, with tubes, what I find is I end up dropping them. I'm trying to carry a bundle of tubes into the house. Uh, it ends up being a, a royal pain. And the other thing I've noticed is when you're taking rods in and out of the socks, you have to be very careful not to break the tip. And so is, when it's going in and out of the sock, it's always an opportunity to snap the tip off of a rod. And I've seen people do that when they've just been a little bit too clumsy handling the rod sock. So this, for transportation, it's going from my house to the car, from the car to the, my friend's house. That's it. And everything's in one go. Just grab it and, and off you go in fishing. So between the, the fishing bottler and the rod wraps, uh, a lot of the time when I'm going fishing, I don't even, the tube is not even in the car. You know, I, the tube is used for storage in the house to protect the rods. Um, they they would be used uh, for airplane travel and that kind of stuff. But just going from house to car to, to the fishing spot, you know, I find the tubes often will be more of a pain than they're worth. And as I say, there's always that chance that as you're stuffing things in the sock that you, you break a tip. I say I've seen people do that. So whether it's a, a spinning rod or a fly rod, if it's multi-piece, these fishing butlers are great to keep the rod together, allow you to move from spot to spot, from house to car to house, all that sort of thing without a lot of bother and without wasting a lot of time putting things into socks, taking them out of socks, letting stuff dry. That all that goes out the window. It's, you can even store them fully rigged this way. So it's the way I do. I go fishing now. If I'm using a rod a lot, like my switch rod that's down there, if I'm going to be using it a lot, it's not in the tube. It's stored with the rod uh, fishing bottlers, ready to go. Uh, I just grab it and I'm gone. So give that some thought. Fishing bottlers and rod wraps. It's great for transportation and it works. And you know what? I've never ever broken a rod with these, ever. I've gone to jinx myself now, of course, but I never have. So, uh, you know, if you, as long as you're not silly with them, they're going to be just fine. Cheers.